there appears to be this idea gaining momentum that um, that we need governments to stop climate change for us because there's so little time left. Um, well, this assumes that governments and corporations can stop climate change, which you know is a bit of a stretch of the imagination, um, and and indeed that it would be possible for us to convince them that stopping climate change is, is more important than maintaining business as usual. So. I think it's a complete waste of time, actually. Um, governments and corporations have for decades, they've had decades to respond to this crisis. Uh, and given such a record of inaction, it would be, it would be really foolish to, to continue waiting for them. This is the COP15. There's been previous COPs. It started in Rio, they went to Berlin, to Geneva. Then we had Kyoto, then there was Be Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires, Bonn. The Hague, Bonn again, Marrakesh, New Delhi, Milan, Buenos Aires again, Montreal, Nairobi, Bali, Poznan, and now we're here in Copenhagen. We've been waiting for long enough for these people to actually do something about this. They're not. They're completely wasting time. We have to really stop wasting our time with that. And a great deal of this discourse has been sort of centered around this idea that we are running out of time. Um, I, I'd rather, rather thinking of us running out of time, um, I prefer to think of it as, as running out of atmosphere. Um, or better, we're running out of opportunities to stop polluting this atmosphere at such a rate. Of course, we need action, but we cannot wait any longer for someone else to do it. So rather than watching time flow past as we feel the need to act, is it not better that we take the opportunity for, to create social change now? We take every opportunity to create a new politics. So. It's, you know, it's great to be here to have, have this sort of discussion. Um, I just want to finish by um, reading out the strategic goals which uh, have come out of a number of meetings in Copenhagen over the past year uh, of the group Climate Justice Action. Um, we've got, we're beginning to develop a really thorough political analysis and we hope that as time goes on, um, this will be a sort of centre that a lot of different movements and networks can come around. So I'll just read out what our strategic goals for Copenhagen are. Um, we're here to promote and strengthen the rights and voices of indigenous and affected peoples, including workers, in confronting the climate crisis. We're here to support the reparations and repayment of ecological debt to the global south by the industri industrialised rich countries. We're here to build a global movement for climate justice that encourages urgent action to avoid catastrophic climate change. We're here to highlight the critical role of biodiversity in weathering the climate crisis and to defend the existence of all species. We're here to expose the roles of false and market-based <coughs> solutions, as well as corporate domination of climate negotiations in worsening the climate crisis, to advance alternatives that can provide real and just solutions to the climate crisis, and to both sharpen our understanding of and to address the roots of social, ecological, political and economic causes of this climate crisis towards a total systemic transformation of our society. So that's, that's a good start really. Um, I mean, I think I, I really urge people to, to get involved in the climate justice action actions that are going on. We'll have information about those later. Um, but, you know, get involved, basically.